Yeah, I didn't reset my trip, huh? Oh, well, that sees right. I started at 200, obviously, because I'm at 55. All right, 55, now we're 10. I don't know if that's accurate. And uh, 276. Uh, 15 kilowatt hours used so far. It's kilowatt hours used so far. All right. Um, you know what? Let's go ahead and reset trip. Just because. Um, well, okay, we're kind of done with that. So let, let me just hit the quick highlights because this is going to end up being a long, long video if I do too much. So, coming out of Lago Vesta, things are running pretty smooth. I mean, there's the usual stupid traffic stuff, but that's not FST's fault, right? Um, there was a spot where there's a car right next to me, and the turn zone came on. I assume it's for the right, because... I'm on the inside lane. The left is no, there's no lane there. Um, weird. Why, why? And I think what it was is he was going like, oh, well, I, 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 I want to follow the route. I want the route to be in the middle lane, not the left lane. What difference does it make? Okay, I break on MCL, big deal. Um, moving on up. Uh, I did notice at one point, um, I, I want to stay in the middle lane. I don't want to be in the inside lane. I get California Road Ranger mentality says you got to be in the left lane blocking it. Although if somebody comes up behind you, FSD will turn on turn signal and move you over. Although by the time it moves you over, it's already too late. That car is coming by. Right? Um, anyway, so I, I moved over in, into the middle lane. And well, there's a semi next, next to that in the outside lane. Oh, FSD didn't like that one bit. He, he turned on a turn signal and moved it left again. Okay, whatever, peace and harmony. It's just after a little ways, you, you turn on a turn signal and move back. I didn't have to turn on minimal lane changes to control him. So, so far things are going good. Um, there was one other place where he, he did some... Oh. I guess there were, we're coming up... We're... Oh, no, I know what it is. He, went, he wanted to pass a pickup truck. Okay? The inside lane is open. He signals, moves over. And, of course, that pickup truck, being Texas mandated, yes, accelerates away. Okay? <laughs> so now what? What are you going to do now? Okay, driver turns on right turn, so moves back to the middle lane. I mean... It, it's just the way it is. Okay, let's move on. All right, so I guess there's some kind of incident on the highway here in uh, Belton. And so navigation has directed us to go to uh, Dodgen, Doggen, um, Loop to bypass it. So there you go. Navigation is making non fly adjustment. Um, I do see uh, on. on I-35, I do see that there are brake lights and people are finally coming to a stop. So, um, we'll see. Okay, guys, I'm stopped on the side of the highway. It's uh, 38 miles, 41 minutes, 288 watt-hours per mile. I will say that the bypass of Belton, while it worked, it must have been just clearing up. And I had that feeling because I, I could see some semis were going to go straight through. And um, at least one that I recognized, I saw later. So it, it was a 50-50 thing. All right, so I am pulled over because I got the red hands. Autopilot is off until the car resets. So um, let me do that, and then we'll go on. All right, so let me take just a few seconds to explain. We're coming, we're coming up on a couple, well, when I was coming up, I'm not going to see the one. So there's a semi pulling a, I guess it's a parking garage component, a piece, a precast piece. Um, he has his left turn signal on. He's moved into the middle lane and he's kind of crossing the 
lane separator every once in a while. But it looks like he's not coming across. So I was very intent on looking at what was going on with him and the car that, for whatever reason, wanted to be right next to him. I don't know what that was. Uh, it turns out there's another semi just in front of this guy who's also pulling a, a, a parking garage piece. So it's during this time when I'm really focused on looking at traffic. Uh, gee, I don't know. What? What? What's that, Elon? I should be focused on the screen? No, I need to be looking at the traffic. Um, whatever. Um, and just as I put my foot down the accelerator to get past this semi is when the car starts to beep, 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 beep. Um, so it puts the red hands on the wheel and uh, says autopilot is suspended for the rest of this drive. So pull over on side road, reset. Sounds much safer, yes. Come on, man. Anyway, onward, upward. Okay, welcome to Abbott. Uh, 42 minutes, 38, I'm sorry, 42 miles, 38 minutes, 319 watt hours per mile. Yes, I am going at highway speed, so I'm using more energy. Um, let's go over here. So, it's interesting, I'm going to be charging for 45 minutes. But okay, whatever. Oklahoma City Charger. All right, anyway, there we are. Uh, trips. So, after I pulled over... <clears throat> let the car reset so I can get back uh, FSD. Um, there's been no issues. It's been going fine. So there you go. All right, guys, welcome to Denton. Uh, we're in, in some kind of shopping plaza. Um, actually, Walmart's right over there, isn't it? Anyway, 99 miles, hour 32, uh, one hour, 32 minutes, and 284 watt hours per mile. So, um, yes, coming through Fort Worth, uh, there was some slower traffic. Oh, oh my goodness. Whatever, peace and harmony. It's all good. Um, there were some places where FSD wanted to um, switch lanes, and he turned on his turn signal, and there's a car next to me. Um, break on FSD off. I just leave it off. Um, when, when the traffic gets busier, I usually don't trust FSD quite as much. But whatever, peace and army, it's all good. Well, I'm surprised how quick that was. Uh, 39 miles, I mean, yeah, 39 miles, 36 minutes, 287 watt hours per mile. Um, just stopped at the Welcome, the Oklahoma Welcome Center, just to stop here. Um, but wow, that, that, like 40 minutes driving, I'm here. Okay. okay, just throw this in. Welcome to Oklahoma. Oklahoma's diverse terrain and untamed natural beauties offer some for every adventure. Oh, okay. Huh. Whatever, just thought I'd throw this in. Okie dokie, welcome to Ardmore. Um, I don't know. Um, I was playing with, with trying to make it to Oklahoma City, and it said, at first it said 12%, then, well, just a short ways after the Oklahoma City uh, welcome center that dropped to 11%. I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to make that. So, uh, I put our, it originally had Ardmore in. I took Ardmore out. Well, Ardmore's back in. All right. 29 miles, 27 minutes, 323 watt hours per mile. So it's that 323 watt hours per mile. That is, is going yeah, don't push it too hard. Okay. Okay, guys, welcome to Oklahoma City. Um, 100 miles, an hour 40, and 266 watt hours per mile. What? Really? I thought I was running over 300. I'll send them down to 266. Oh, uh, that's pretty exciting. Uh, sorry, we've been in the same mile per hour speed zone all this time. Okay, there we are. Um, there, so the thing is oh, if it, so when when we're going into another speed zone and people are slowing down if it says oh oh they're going slow i need to go left go around them okay 
and for a while I was letting him do it. Okay, fine. And then he's like, uh, well, they all left. Yeah, they didn't slow down as much as you did, huh? Yeah. So after, uh, uh, when we got into Oklahoma City, I put on minimal lane changes. Um, I just didn't want to have to deal with that in, in city traffic. Not that Oklahoma City is all that big a city, but it is a city. A uh, decent sized city, actually. It's capital of the Oklahoma. Anyway, onward, upward. Um, I think that's it for now. Yes. All right, here's a curious. Uh, French Energy, is that what this is? I don't know. I don't see a sign over there. No, that's a what? Fitness Center. Okay, anyway, Francis Energy. Several version twos. Oh my goodness gracious, I can't believe it. This is the second time that autopilot is unavailable. You know what I did? FSD was going to cut in front of a truck and he was speeding up, so I accelerated to, to finish the pass. Should have done a break on FC off, I guess. I mean, whatever. Anyway, 52 miles, 45 minutes, 282 miles. Oh my goodness. Okay, welcome to South Wichita, whatever that means. Uh, 99 miles, an hour 24, 282 watt hours per mile. And uh, yes, the whole section was 75 miles an hour. Um, when I had to stop, uh, the last time I stopped because, again, uh, autopilot would not engage for us to drive. Um, that time, I think it complained about me how fast I was going, although FST initiated a switch to the right lane in front of a pickup that had sped up, so I was trying to speed up to get in front of him. Anyway, whatever. Peace and harmony. After that, no more FST. I've used TAC going down the highway but uh, other than that no automation um <laughs> i don't know whatever i mean it's i have at least two strikes against me so far is that what i have is that how it works i don't know uh, um anyway uh, oh and going back to uh from before i mean it didn't happen this last leg but there was phantom braking so it, i mean i couldn't find any reason for it whatsoever not a shadow not there's no cars around me when it happens a uh, couple of times it was 15 miles an hour drop and a, a, a more more than a handful of times we dropped one or two miles per hour so you feel it tug and then release and go so it's almost like fsd or tesla is saying i've had enough today so uh, whatever it is what it is. Get over it. Um, anyway, so no FSD in Kansas. Here you go. Sunset in Wichita, Kansas, over the roof of some Teslas. <laughs> All right. Welcome to Raymond, Kansas. Uh, 96 miles, an hour 50, 257 watt hours per mile. Uh, for some reason, I was going down a bunch of back roads um, for what, 20 miles? including uh, one or two that were just dirt roads like wow anyway uh, that gives you an idea how remote raymond kansas is anyway onward upward charge okie dokie welcome to uh russell kansas and actually this is a, this is a sonic surprise me anyway um from the little dinky town wherever it was when i hit 281 um, 38 miles, 38 minutes, and 300 watt hours per mile. Of course, we were also preheating, so that was part of it. Um, of course, uh, I'm, I, I was not running FSD, although I was running TAC. Um, and TAC's funny, man. So one car goes across the street, and, and we're a little ways away, he slows down. Uh oh, there's a car, there's a car across the street. And then as we get closer, another car across the street, he's like, oh, okay, no big deal. What was the difference? The difference was we were closer to the second one than we were to the first one. I, I don't know. Uh, anyway, whatever. Um, man, Kansas is such a sleepy state out here. 
I mean, at least in the parts I've been so far, it, it, um, wow, what can I tell you? All right, so when I wasn't, when I pulled off of whatever that road was, a 96, 96, right? Yeah, I, I don't, I don't understand why we didn't take 96 to almost Raymond. It would have been easier, I think. It would have been a lot easier in plowing through a four of a dirt road at 45 miles an hour. Oh my goodness. Whatever. Peace and army. It doesn't matter. Okay. Um, what else? Oh, I forgot to document. So one of the counties here in Kansas is Sedgwick. So for those of you who, who know my former co-worker, yeah. Name, name for her, huh? Okay, whatever. Peace and harmony. Let me go get plugged in and get going. Okay, and just, just to admit it to you guys, yes, that was a 19-hour drive day. 19, not, not 19, 14 hours. 14 hours driving. Okay, guys, this is my summary from day one. Miles covered, 737 miles. Total travel time from start to finish, 13 hours, 15 minutes. There were six charging stops, 210 kilowatt hours added. The cost of that was $26.70. Now, to be fair to you guys, some of, those char some of the charging stops were actually free because of my uh, referral points that I applied to the supercharging cost. So that would, would have cost more than that without that trade-off. But there you go. And uh, we visited Raymond, Kansas, although it was in the dark. But there you go.